Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another scheme for you out of the Saints. Uh, about a week ago, I put out an extremely glitchy uh, cover two and cover three beating scheme out of the empty Y Saint. I'm not really going to go over that again in this video, but I'll try to put a link in the description below if you guys want to check out part one, because this is essentially going to be part two. In that video, I touched on a couple of man-beating uh, concepts. Uh, I didn't have necessarily um, the explosive plays that I'm going to have today. Uh, but after I put out that series, the, the, the most, more specifically, the Saints drag uh, is one of the glitchiest plays in the game. Like I said, check that out below if you didn't catch the first part of this uh, series. Uh, but ultimately today, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on man beaters uh, because to me, man coverage is really the, the hardest defense to beat. Beating zone coverage this year really aren't that tough. So some of the plays I put out in the first video, I, I showed they can beat man. But they're not as good as the ones I'm going to show you today. The ones I'm going to show you today home run just about any man coverage, including cover two, uh, which is one of the, the defenses that I run the most because there's so few one-play touchdowns. The first play I'm going to start out with, though, is on this page right here, the Saints Slant Flood. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, um, we're just going to use, uh, like I said, I, I this is something I run maybe 70% of the time, 80% of the time in my game plays. It's just a typical cover two man. So before I start this video, if you guys want to see me put um, all of these plays into one big scheme video, I'd probably have like seven or eight plays out of this particular formation alone. I could put that out as soon as tomorrow. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, or just hit the like button to help me out, uh, because ultimately that helps my videos. But like I said, if you want to see this in one giant scheme, which I'll probably create tonight and put on my Patreon and on the Join Now community tab, um, you know, like I said, hit the like button if you want to see that on YouTube. So one of the things I like about this particular play, you don't really need any adjustments it works against cover two man really well just like this just by itself and ultimately I'm really just looking for um, this receiver right here as you can see it, it, the way that this play sets up he just gets inside the safeties perfectly I'm gonna go to the replay I'm probably gonna swap out Drew Brees as well but going to the replay real quick like I said this play right here you don't really need any adjustments you really just want to split these safeties this receiver over here does a really good job of number one beating the press but number two, pulling that safety across, which is what I want. So you can see, I mean, even the way he beat that press, if I didn't pre-diagnose his play, which I typically am going to do, he's going to be wide open right away anyway, uh, which, like I said, not a ton of one-play touchdowns against cover two man or man in general. But you can see how easily this pulls that safety apart. And then where what this play really, uh, where this play is really special is this route right here. And I went and put my fastest receiver here, which isn't really that fast. He's 91 speed kick returner. That's the best thing they have here. Uh, but you can see, I mean, a lot of these routes beat the press. This route beats the press, um, and he's he's wide open, which, you know, like I said, there's not a ton of routes that really do this good of a job against man. But ultimately, like I said, this route here, streaking pulls that safety apart. And then this receiver here just just crosses his face uh, for a really easy play. I wish I could get a little bit of a better pass. Like I said, I'm probably going to take uh, Drew Brees out. Uh, but you can see, I mean, there's like I said, there's not a lot of plays that have this effect against cover two men. That's why that's really what makes this play so special. So I do. I went ahead and swapped out James Winston because I want that extra arm strength. So essentially, on this play in the replay, it really looked like the Y route was going to beat that press more often than I really think he will. I don't. I don't think that that was indicative of how this is going to be throughout. This is not. I mean, there's there's man beating plays here, but they're not as consistent as the RB route's going to be. So you know, your, your check downs. I mean, the A route's a decent man beater if he's not aligned, like you have the tight end in the middle of the field right there. He's going to get that outside release. Kamara obviously the slant. Lots of good man beating routes for check downs. But ultimately, this play is all about. The the RB route and you can do a couple of things with the RB route to even make it even more successful like right here if I smart route him he basically um, you, you see the the, the the break in the route goes from about five yards or seven yards to about 10 to 12 yards and that's going to really give me the ability um, to float this ball which is what I want because when you got man especially if you got a speed advantage a lot of times you can just float that up and run and sprint and out sprint the defense for an, an even easier play I don't really have, I mean, the Saints just, it, it, you need more speed than what the Saints have. I, I use the Saints, I try to use the team playbook um, from the team that I'm using. I try to use the team from the team playbook that I'm using, but ultimately, I mean, this is just, um, they just don't necessarily have the personnel, but you can see it's still really explosive and still really beating this coverage easily. 
So for a cover one man, we're going to pretty much be using the exact same concept, and that's the Saint seams. Now, it's the same route. It's just on both sides in the slot on both sides of the field, uh, but it's going to have a different effect. So let's go and let's pick that on the on the defensive side. Like I said, we're just going to continue to go with um, a, a nickel. Uh, this time we're going to do with, go with a cover one man if I can find one. Uh, which, once again, like I said, is a very popular defense this year as well. So, very similar concept, only this time we're going to be focusing on the Y route. I'm going to put him on a smart route, and for whatever reason, uh, you can see he just basically beats that press uh, when I put him in that specific uh, smart route once again. So, nothing really to it. Just smart route him, and then you'll get this animation. The second he gets past the coverage, you can just lob it. Uh, I, I typically, I mean, I, I'm running it with a, a, a relatively not too fast receiver in Michael Thomas. Uh, but he also has a, a pretty good ability to beat the press, which is going to be important. So, like I said, that's really all you need. You can see it's an instant gone uh, type of play. Uh, and like I said, all comes from smart routing that route. That's all you really have to do. So whether it's uh, man zero or man one, like I said, just smart routing that guy gives him that release, lob it, uh, you know, type of back shoulder fade throw. It's not always going to be a touchdown because he's not always getting the hugest separation. Uh, but you can see it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's getting uh, enough consistent, like right there. Now that there, he got the inside release. I'm going to have to take the check down on that one. If he doesn't get the outside release, it won't work. That's very important. I'm going to go to the replay real quick. There's really two different release types that you could get. Um, so that's why you probably want to zig. I would say zigging somebody as a check down would be good, although the tight end's a pretty good man beer as well, as you saw. But if he doesn't get this outside release, if for whatever reason that cornerback doesn't release him outside, this play's dead against cover one because ultimately the idea is to throw away from the safety and that's gone because the, the cornerback's going to cut that off. So that's pretty much the only thing you got to watch. I find that you if you motion in this receiver here, uh, that sometimes uh, that will kind of make the cornerback want to give an outside release based off of the fact that, um, you know, there, there's two receivers, there's a receiver inside of them. I find that that's a good adjustment to make, but it also draws attention to what you're doing. So ultimately, you have to make that choice. If you do that, your user might decide to use over there. But a lot of the plays that I showed in the first video, uh, I motioned this guy in as well. So it's not something that really should be detrimental by any means. So like I said, right there, didn't quite get the separation. But you can see he's getting behind it, which is really the most important part. If you have, I mean, there's not a lot of receivers in the game better than Michael Thomas. But there are a lot faster receivers in the game than what are on this particular uh, team. So, so you can see, like I said, he's getting behind it. That's all you really need. It's not always going to be one play touchdown because, like I said, I don't necessarily have the speed. But if you're going to make that adjustment by putting by motioning Kamara in, I would say, um, you know, then then at that point put him on like an out route, uh, something like that, so that you you have a decent check down there uh, because you might rely on that. Like I said, right there, there. If I don't get that outside release gonna take that check down you know what I mean and the outside release seems to be um, you know it's 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 not a guarantee like I said it really depends on what cornerback you're going against uh, but you can see I mean it's pretty consistent you can see right there we get that outside release the second I do it's just a lob it up uh, big play um, but ultimately you're not always gonna get that outside release so you gotta have a backup plan and this, this running back uh, being inside like that is definitely a good option and then you also have that tight end as well so here he doesn't get that release we get that check down like i said i can take that all game so any man coverage you really got two routes on that side they're instantly open so i'm going to end the video there if you guys want to see more plays out of the saints let me know in the comment section with the like button i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below